everyone and welcome back in our lecture series. So today we are going to talk about dependent t-tests. The question here is when is the best time to use dependent samples t-tests? Dependent samples t-tests is also known as paired t-test. It is a parametric test and is used to compare the means between two related groups. So you take note of the word related. For dependent samples t-test, unlike with the independent t-tests, for independent t-tests, as you can remember, the groups are independent from one another. This is different in using dependent samples t-test because these samples here are related or matched, meaning to say you obtain your data before and after on the same group of participants. This is in contrast with t-test for independent samples where it will obtain data from two independent groups. Let us consider this scenario. Suppose a researcher is interested to determine the effectiveness or the efficacy of its newly developed pill. So the best thing that you should do is to randomly pick the participants or subjects to take the pill. So on the left side of the screen, you have the participants before. You introduce your pill in a span of time and then you take their body mass after. So, in this scenario, a researcher will take the body mass of the participants before and after taking the newly developed diet pill. If you want to develop your research questions in this research project, it is suggested to reflect first the descriptive questions before reflecting the question that is inferential in nature. So, as you can see on screen, we have the first what is the body mass of the participants or what is the body mass of the subjects before taking the pill? Second, what is the body mass of the participants after taking the pill? And the third question will be, is there a significant difference in the body mass of the participants before and after taking the pill? So remember that the objective of the researcher here is to determine if the diet pill will significantly reduce or decrease the body mass of the participants in a span of time. In our research project, we have a separate section for the hypothesis. So for our null hypothesis, there is no significant difference in the body mass of the subjects before and after taking the diet pill. And for our alternative hypothesis, there is a significant difference in the body mass of the subjects before and after taking the Let diet pill. Let us consider the social science related example. Suppose a researcher wants to test if a particular intervention will reduce the anxiety of the subjects. So as you can see, the same participants will be used in this study, meaning to say, using a standardized anxiety scale, you obtained their anxiety level before, you introduced the intervention, and then you obtain their anxiety level after, meaning to say, the same participants are used in the study. The participants before are the same participants or the, part the subjects before are the same subjects after. If we are going to phrase our research questions in this type of research project, this will be the sequence of our questions in our research paper. So number one, you first ask, what is the level of their anxiety before? Second, what is the level of their anxiety after you introduce the intervention? Before, you are going to ask if the difference in the anxiety level of the participants before and after is significant. So, numbers 1 and 2 questions are descriptive, and number 3 question is considered to be an inferential question. The number 3 question is a question where t-test for dependent samples will be appropriate to use. So for question numbers 1 and 2, mean and standard deviation is applicable to use. So for number 3, you are going to use dependent t-test. Just like with the other parametric tests, dependent sample t-test also need to fulfill several assumptions. Number 1, our dependent variable should be measured in a continuous level. So if your dependent variable is measured in a nominal or in a categorical level, then dependent sample t-test will not be appropriate statistics to use in testing significant differences. Number two, our dependent variable should consist of two related or matched groups. And number three, our dependent variable should be normally distributed. So as a researcher, we need to establish a diagnostic analysis. Testing for possible outliers in the data set, especially if these outliers are considered to be extreme, this will technically influence the distribution of our data sets. 
So remember that dependent sample t-test is a parametric test and is used to compare two related groups. While independent t-test is still a parametric test but it used to compare significant differences for two unrelated or independent groups. So today, we learned when to use dependent samples t-tests and what are sample questions that are answerable by using these inferential statistics.